Well, if you spend any time outside lately, you know not only is it the pollen, but the bugs are back. And this morning, we're on your side breaking down what you need to know to protect yourself and your property from springtime pests. All new this half hour, WBTV Sharon Hayes has been talking to experts about what you can deal with, how you can deal with these pests and such. And she's joining us now live with the very latest with some good information this morning, Sharon. Oh, good morning, John. Yes, uh, we're talking all things bugs this morning and talking with exterminators yesterday. They're saying they're getting a lot of calls now about carpenter bees, and these things can cause a lot of damage to wood items on your property. Now, I want you to take a look at your screen here. This is the bee. Um, they're mostly harmless. Our expert says the males are the ones that'll kind of fly around you the most and be annoying, but they don't sting. And the females do, but mostly don't if you do not bother them. They're a little bit more standoffish. Now, the problem with them is that they dig holes into wood, specifically soft wood. So we're talking decks, furniture, wooden fences, um, siding and shingles, patio furniture, and, you know, they can cause serious damage, costly damage. Um, um, when they're trying to uh, bore holes into the woods to lay their eggs, essentially. And then the problem gets 10 times worse when woodpeckers come along to try to eat the eggs, and then they make the problem worse. So our expert says that you, people are going to be seeing a lot more of these bees now because those eggs that they've kind of laid are now starting to hatch. Right now, those larvae have reemerged as adults, and they're now looking for new places to set up shop, and people are seeing them a lot as they're going outdoors, and they're having picnics, so they're sitting on their back decks. They're seeing these carpenter bees. And so, you know, there you hear it. So, again, they're mostly harmless when it comes to you and stinging, but they are very damaging to your furniture. The best thing that he says that you can do is to make sure you have people come out and check your wood regularly, spray, um, you know, professionally so that you don't do it yourself and potentially make it worse. And always make sure that it is treated. That will deter them. I'm Sharon Hayes reporting live in Charlotte, WBTV.